hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel rabbit wander i hope you guys are doing good and i hope you're having an amazing year i have a guest in the house my bit pressure okay so um today we're going to be reacting to um trinity in the bible no trinity in the old testament wow trinity in korean like wow so guys let's check that out Before I give any understanding on the Trinity, I must thank the Almighty and say Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah for saving my neck. The pastor, he had 10 minutes and the Bible in his hand, he couldn't give what I was asking. I said one phrase, one sentence in the Bible where Jesus says I am God or where he says worship me. Thank God. He failed. And I knew that, therefore I took a chance. Otherwise I would never have taken such a chance. <laughs> With regards to Trinity, you ask the Trinitarians. Ask the Trinitarians. They believe the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But they are not three gods, but one God. And they continue in their catechism that the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, and the Holy Ghost is Almighty. But they are not three Almighties, but one Almighty. That's how the catechism goes. And it proceeds, the Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Ghost is a person. But they are not three persons, but one person. I'm asking the English-speaking people, because I can't speak Swedish, the English-speaking people, I said, do words, do they have any meaning in your language? Do they have any meaning? Or you just utter words without any meaning? You said person, 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 but not three person, but one person. I said, what language are you speaking? It's because I know English. They taught me, the British had taught me English. <laughs> so what language are you speaking? This is not English, this is gibberish. Not even Greek. This is gibberish. Person, 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 but not three person, but one person. I said, if you, who, any one of you, and your two other brothers, are identical triplets, identical. We can't make out the difference between the th three of you. If one of you commit murder, can we hang the other? He says, no. I said, why not? You all look alike. So he says, no, you see, I'm a different person. I said, what makes you a different person? Your personality. Now, in your mind, the Father is different, the Son is different, and the Holy Ghost is different. When you say in the name of the Father, you have a certain mental picture of the old Father Christmas, bigger than anything that we can imagine, millions and millions of times, bigger than man, but something like a man, with the heaven as his canopy and the earth as his footstool, the loving Father in heaven. When you say God the Son, what are you thinking of? A prize bull or a false father? No, you're thinking of a handsome young man, like what we saw in the King of Kings, where Jeffrey Hunter was acting, Blonde hair, blue eyes, a Nordic type, a Scandinavian type, not a Jewish type. He doesn't look like a Jew. There's one... There's a picture of Jesus Christ there at the back here where they gave me a place to rest before coming over here. On the wall. And you see a handsome young man, like a Norwegian or a Swede. Blue eyes and all. And you see a halo on his head. There, there. If they allow you, go and have a look. There's a halo on his head. I said, where did you get the halo from? You know, that ring, neon light ring, suspended in air. Where did you get it from? Is the Bible says that, that he had a halo around his head? Did the Jews see any such thing? No, no. But you see now, we are all programmed into thinking and believing anything, everything that the man says with force, we accept. So I said, this trinity, is thrown out the verse on the Trinity, the first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7, where it says, For there are three that bear record in heaven the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one, is taken out, thrown out of this Bible, the Revised Standard Version, as a fabrication. It's not here. It's taken out. Why? Because this was a note made by a certain vigilance of Thapsus in the 6th century for his own edification or for the edification of his children. 
which when the publishers, when they came across the manuscript, that marginal note came into the text. It crept in into the text. Now your scholars now discover that this is a fabrication, this is a note. This is not the works of John. So they took it out as a fabrication, as an interpolation. Jesus Christ, he never taught the Trinity. When he was questioned, Gospel of St. Mark, a learned man of the Jew comes and asks him, he says, Master, in the Hebrew language, Rabbi, what commandment is the first of all? And Jesus answered and said unto him, the first is, Shama Israelu Adonai Elohainu Adonai Echad. Say, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. He repeated word for word what was given by Moses some 1300 years before, without the change of a dot. If Trinity was what he came to teach, that was the right moment to educate the guy, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. He never said any such, such thing. He merely reminded him about what Moses had given 1300 years before. So there is no such thing as a Trinity as taught in the Bible by Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow, what's your take on this? Um, actually, the fact that he said that um, the Trinity is actually removed from the Bible, I don't really understand that. Is it like that that's a different whole Bible or what? Like, is he trying to say that it was left out? Like, in that particular Bible, there's nothing like Trinity in it anymore or if I didn't really get him right well. I've already made it, I've already said something concerning the Trinity before. If you don't believe in something, then just let us believe in what we believe in and not being like there's no Trinity. Like generalizing it when you know that okay, just like when it comes to our tribes, some people eat fish, why right? some people don't eat fish, they just put it that way. And then we are trying to say that people that don't eat fish will die. You understand what I'm trying to say? Like we are just imposing it on everybody. Instead of be like, okay, you feel fish is something that you need to eat to just, you know, um build your tissues and you know help you out like in live live a healthy life, you understand that kind of thing. That's the same way can actually make it make us understand that he feels that Trinity does not exist because he's a Muslim and give us his reasons and stay the Quran and dress. But not generalizing it in the way that he's making us feel that what we are doing is like what we are feeling or it's thinking wrong. is in a whole total Different wrong path. Thing. You understand? So I've already said before that there's no need to I just said everybody should believe in what they believe in and there's no need for any controversial thing going on. There's no need for arguments or trying to feel who is right or who is wrong. Because I mean, in as much as whatever he said, I still believe in what I'm believing. It's not changing anything. That's just how it is. But like I said, I like I keep on watching these videos because I just want to keep on getting myself exposed into the Muslim society. As much as him too wants to be exposed into the Christian society. So at least if I come outside and I'm like, you know, moving in with them or like, you know, living the same um, um, community with them, I can be able to understand why they are doing this or why they are doing that. Like now a Christian, a, a Muslim that can be staying with can tell me, he doesn't believe in Trinity. You know, I, I understand that, okay, I've actually come across someone who is actually debating on it. So, okay, why not use your belief? Is my belief. I mean, we just have to live. And let's see what happens in the last day. That's all. Exactly. That's just it. Because, okay, fine. You don't believe in Trinity. I'm a Christian. You're a Muslim. I believe in Trinity. Yeah. You can say whatever you want to say. That does not change my opinion on it. Yeah. There's God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There's yeah. nothing you can tell me about that, okay? Yeah. And there are Christians out there, like, with these petty, petty little things, you can't actually, like, I don't know how to put it, like, you not going through the Bible whole well, not just picking one verse and understanding just the one verse. You need to read everything and understand. You understand? Like, you might be in trouble now and be like, Holy Ghost, take control. You might be like, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, please yeah. take control. Like, they are one there's trinity if you don't believe in trinity that's fine with you and it's just like me now i don't know how to put it in a muslim way or in an islamic way and telling you that this does not exist and stuff like that like don't bow down while praying that does not exist like why are you bound down you're bound down like who's in front of you like is god in front of you why are you bowing down that that does not exist like that's what you're trying to say right now because we will believe in Trinity and Trinity exists. There's nothing that can change that fact. Okay, a Muslim, I'm not changing anything from the aspect. I'm a Christian, I believe in what I believe in. Yeah. Don't try to change my opinion forcefully in what I can't even believe in. That's just it. So I just feel like 
before we come up we should just check more and try to know how we talk and how we put things we should put it in a way that other people are actually going to understand as well like not making it look forceful and making an issue out of it like just saying things and like it was like he brought the pastor like the pastor can't defend in trinity like he can't defend that there's trinity in the bible actually i believe that that's the situation the pastor was in which i might say is disappointing but i actually, but I actually understand sorry my bad but at the same time please we should not just try to force people to believe in what they don't want to believe in that's just how i'm just going to put it so guys we've come to the end of today's reaction let me know what you feel in the comment section don't forget to like comment and subscribe we'll see you in the next one we'll check more on this video and give you updates all right we'll see you in the next one guys bye